Welcome back to another video of The Chocolate Stocks, where we discuss trading strategy, due diligence, and technical analysis on individual stocks, as well as the market in general. So if you're looking for a hot stock, I can help you find a sweet spot. And if this is your first time at the channel, please do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. I am on a mission for 1,000 subscribers, and each of you that take that action will help me with the YouTube algorithms and help me achieve that goal. Last but not least, I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please take what I say with a grain of salt. Let's get into the video, guys. And guys, do I have a video for you? Alexa, please cue up. Today was a good day. <laughs> hey, today was a good day, guys. I am up for the day almost $400, man. I mean, wow. You know, we're, we're bouncing back really great out of that correction into a recovery. Um, my YOLO AMC call is up $200. AMC is up big today, up to $14 and counting. And, um, and guys, all of the rest of the plays that we were down in are starting to recover. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Let's get into our picks for the week. And then we'll talk about the biggest moves, movers for the day. And then we'll talk about also our bag holder update, which I don't think you guys are not going to be bag holders for very much longer. Want to stick around for that. Let's go, guys. First one on the list is ticket symbol D-A-R-E, Dare Bioscience. Remember, I gave you this play last night, guys. Let's see what it did. Currently, it is trading after hours at $2.23. Let's look at the chart. And let's go to the one day chart. Um, and Dare uh, started at open two dollars and uh, two two dollars forty cents, and casually sold off the rest of the day. Okay, guys. So with this play again, I did give a sweet spot. If we're looking at the technical analysis of this, uh, this line right here is the two fifteen support line. I think two dollars and fifteen cents is the new support for this stock as of last week. Remember, I was doing my due diligence on this stock and I was watching it follow this downward trend line. And once it broke out of this trend line, I watched it for the week. And on Friday, it hit a bump and now we're in a new support level. So again, if you go back and check my previous videos, when I first gave you this play as a diamond in the rough, I told I, I was looking for it to follow that upward trend. And if it continues to follow that by Friday, that this was an absolute goal. Obviously, as you can see, here's Friday. The chart is, it suggests that this is, a, this is on a new support level. Again, though, going back to what our due diligence is saying, Sweet spot is under two dollars if we can get it. However, I did update this to two fifteen because that is the new support level. Again, we want to be prepared, not surprised. Two fifteen looks like an entry point if this never comes back under two dollars. But for me, full transparency, I do have a limit order on uh, Dare right here. It hasn't been filled yet, but I'm I'm looking to get it filled. Uh, where are we at? Uh, I'm looking to get it filled around a dollar ninety five. Okay, guys. So I'm in on this. I'm trying to get it in this sweet spot. We want to minimize our risk to reward. So that's what I'm doing. Okay, guys. So if you choose to take up this play, um, we got to think about our exit plan. What is our exit plan? We want to hold long for nine dollars again. Um, or consider taking profit at the 50 to 100% gain. You get in at 215, look at four and a half, five dollars to take your gain. If we do get it at the sweet spot under um, under two dollars, you know, around four dollars, four and a half is where we're gonna take profits. All right. Next, we got on the list ticket symbol SOL Rensola, Rensola down for the day. To fifteen dollars and sixty eight cents on the after hours, down four percent for the day. Let's look at ticker symbol S O L on the weekly chart, and as you can see, uh, back on three ten, it hit a high of seventeen dollars. Got sold off aggressively down to thirteen, and has been fighting this way back. Currently sitting at fifteen fifty. Looking at the technical analysis of this stock, fifteen fifteen looks like the support level for this play as it currently stands right now. However, 
what we're looking for is a sweet spot. We want it cheaper than that. We want it at fourteen ninety or thirteen sixty five. Again, guys, I am not just telling you what to do. I am doing it myself. Um, it's, so in Rensola, SOL, I do have a limit order ready to be filled at fourteen ninety. All right. So if it comes to us, great. If not, we'll find another way in on this play. Looking at uh, the daily chart, started at a high of sixteen seventy nine and just sold off. Hit a low of fourteen ninety five. Didn't quite get there. Oh my god! Didn't quite get. Didn't quite get filled. But you don't know what the rest of the day is. What the rest of the trading week is going to bring. That's how we do it on this channel. We're going to set these limit orders and we're going to forget it. We're going to forget it. We're going to wait for it to get filled. Now, I know it does tie up a little bit of your buying power, but if you want to get into this play, you're going to spend it anyway. Set that limit order. If it comes to you, great. If it doesn't come to you, you can free up that dry powder, get into another play. We're never going to chase plays. There'll always be another play, right? All right. So if we do get into this play, what we're going to do... Exit plan. We holding this boy to 2030. We're going to load up as many shares as we can. Swing traders. Again, there is a resistance point right around $25. So if we look at um, look at the monthly chart and zoom out a little bit, here's the $25 line. It's been rejected once, twice, three times, four times. So guys, if you're swinging this, if you're just going to just swing this for a quick trade, you want to take profits around 40, uh, 25 and get out of that play, all right? So next on the list is our honorable mentions for the day. And I gave you these plays uh, last night. Uh, APTX, ticket symbol APTX, is actually down for the day. Uh, I gave it to you yesterday at 341. It is down to 330, um, currently sitting at after hours. This is an absolute buy zone, has a price target of $12. I'll do a... Uh, individual video on each of these plays uh, this week, but I uh, just wanted to kind of give you other things to think about if you're not interested in SOL or DARE. Um, here's some other plays to consider. A lot of you are already in SNDL. It broke that $1.43 resistance line that I was telling you about, so now we're on the bullish trend. It is currently up for today at $1.64, currently at the after hours. And Palantir actually dropped 13 cents today. It is down uh, about, about, you know, 0.48%. Not a bad drop, but it is down, which means it is around a support level. $26, $25 is a support level for Palantir. It has a price target of $40, which means about 70% growth is about expected for this play, you might want to consider getting you some Palantir, Palantir. I am in on that play as well. Next up, we got is my overall analysis of the market. Who is winning today? Today, cannabis is winning, tech EV stocks were winning, and travel hospitality is winning. All of those plays are up significantly today. So that actually ties into my bag holder section because tech EV and cannabis were part of these bag holder plays. But I want to start here with this travel hospitality because remember, if you've been following this channel, last week I gave you Carnival Cruise Line and Delta Airlines as two recovery plays to try to, to try to get into. And by golly, since I gave it to you at a sweet spot, around $40, $42, um, it is now up. But then that week time frame of at least $10. So it hit a high today of $52, currently closed at $50.99 for the day. Guys, I'm telling you, the recovery plays is where it's at if you want to swing quickly. Let's go to the yearly chart because I want you to see a bigger picture about where we're at uh, with, this, with this play. Pre-COVID, here we are today. Pre-COVID, here we are today. Pre-COVID, it was as high as $62, okay? We're at $50.99 today. Guys, I'm trying to tell you, these are the plays that are starting to come back. We're starting to hit that recovery. That means at some point, we're going to hit all-time highs. We're going to break new all-time highs. People are starting to travel. The, thing, the, the, the COVID restrictions are being relaxed, especially in major cities, which is going to be 
Huge, okay? Vaccine rollout is going to be huge. People got them stimmies. They're going to spend it on travel, hospitality. They're going to get something nice to eat. They're going to, they're going to travel to someplace nice. They're going to buy a nice hotel room. They're going to get a flight that they've been eyeballing. Okay, guys? I'm telling you. Let's look at Carnival Cruise Line, CCL. Again, another recovery play. Up again for the day. Let's look at the day chart. And look, look, we hit a high of $30. Again, I gave you this play way back when it was in the $22 range just, just last week. Okay, guys, look look where it was at. $25 here on this was $3.9. So on the 9th, it hit a low of $25. You got a $5 jump right here just in one, two, three, four, five trading days. I'm, tra I'm telling you guys. Hospitality, recovery, is recovery plays. Those are the ones that has been winning. And then this ties into my bag holder section, which uh, you're not going to be bag holders much longer. So if you stuck around for the bag holders, uh, again, guys, CCIV, Tilray, Rocket, uh, Cannabis, EV, Tech has been winning today. Let's go to the bag holder section of the video. Let's look at T Tilray T. L R Y until rate up today 14% for the day. Okay, guys, we finally broke $30 again. It's been trading in that downward 25 to 24 channel forever. Hit a high of $31 today. Let's look back to pre correction. Well, actually, pre pump and dump. So, uh, we got. We got pumped up to $77, got dumped all the way to $25, and now we got to we gotta take the stairs back up, okay? The bears jump out the window, we got to take the stairs back up, okay? So the bulls take the stairs, the bears take the window, we got to take the stairs back up. Be patient. All my $40 bag holders, we're coming for you. It's going to be, it's going to be a couple of weeks. It's going to be a couple of weeks. Um, let's get rid of this trend line because that's got broken, but it's still an uptrend. Let's draw a new trend line that we're going to follow for future videos. All right. So by these standards, by these standards, uh, I am looking at, and actually, I don't want to use this absolute bottom one. Let's look at this trend a little bit more respectably. So. If we can follow this trend, again, if we preface it by if we continue to follow this trend, today was Monday, here's Tuesday, here's Wednesday, here's Thursday. By Thursday, we could be over $32. I'm just saying, we could be sitting at, and that is, that is a resistance level. That is going to be a resistance level because it was previously a level of support. They tend to interchange if either one of them is broken. So um, I am looking for, now that we broke this this support, what is resistance level of $28, I'm looking for that to find support um, as a pullback is likely to come tomorrow's trading day. Um, CCIV as well. CCIV has been running. Again, guys, um, look at this trend. Uh, it's been following, it's been following this trend that I, I, I drew up. It's been following this trend. It's actually diverted away from it a little bit, a little bit more bullish than I expected. But I, I do stick to my prediction. $30, $30, maybe by tomorrow. Maybe by tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Uh, when we were pumped and dumped, $64 was the high. Um, bears jumped out the window, put us all the way down at $22, $20, actually. So $20 was the absolute bottom. We're going to have to take the stairs back up, uh, you know, Stay for the ride, guys. $30 is right around the corner. Uh, all you $40 bag holders, sit tight. Probably going to take another week or two to get back to where we need to be. Last on the list, Rocket RKT. Again, guys, same thing. Pump, dump. We're going to have to <laughs> we're going to have to take them, them stairs back up. However, this is a very volatile stock. I I mean, these these spikes. You went for a ride if you're holding this. Um, just, just know, just know that, uh, but what I am starting to see is some type of, um, technical starting to develop with this. So here is a, a pre 2560, 2550, 
has been a previous rejection point. It is now a level of support as of today's trading day, which is a very good sign. And what else is also a good sign is that this trend has been trading upward. Take um, after hours with a grain of salt, but uh, they don't make a lot of uh, influence on our intraday trading decisions. But um, this is price action that we can take into some account uh, as far as a trend that people are still buying and bullish on the stock, okay? Um, so uh, if anybody who is bag holding um, from the pump and dump, so if you are in this $30 to $40 range, uh, we're coming back for you. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. So sit tight, put it the back in your portfolio. Don't worry about it. We'll be back. Okay, guys. And now, finally, we're on to our dun, 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 YOLO stocks. Dun, 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 YOLO stocks. So AMC, GME. GME has been okay today. AMC, thumbs up for today, guys. I'm trying to tell you that you don't need to worry. This is a different type of short squeeze. So... Let's start with GME because a lot of people have been worried about GameStop today because of the fact that it has sold off mighty aggressively today. And what I'm trying to tell you guys is if this stock was a dead cat, um, we would see more of this, this window dropping. OK, this this looks more like a short attack, like a ladder attack to drive the price down. And what I really think is happening is that um, it, this is where the, the the smart money is coming in, the big boys. Um, again, retail investors, in my opinion, we are not the ones who are going to drive this price action. We are in the middle of a fight between hedge funds, okay? So the hedge funds are fighting each other on the stock. We're just in for the ride, okay? So... What I think this is, I think this is some institution shorting the stock to drive the price down to find a reentry point. Again, look how it just bounced off this 206 uh, support level. Just bounced off of it. Now, it's, it's trading after hours, but again, after hours, you know, that, that can be some, some funny stuff. But what it's looking like to me is that it bounced off the support level. I expect a rebound. Uh, tomorrow and the rest of the week because this is not a dead cat. Uh, with AMC, different story. And that's what I also want to uh, point out too is that today is really the first day that I've really seen GameStop and AMC really diverge from each other. Usually they've been trading sideways. Well, not sideways. Look, they have been trading the same way as, as long as we have been in pretty much this whole short squeeze watch. Today was the first day that um, it really diverged. So it, that'd be interesting to see how the rest of this week play out. But again, to get today, we hit a new high of $14.49 today, closed at $14.04. Every day has been a magic carpet ride for the last month or so, pretty much for AMC. Again, we've been, we was in this, just think about, Back here on 216, we were just pretty much ho hoping it wasn't a dead cat. And then out of nowhere on 222, here we go. Here we go on this rise. And if you zoom out again, and I'm going to look at both GameStop and GME the same. I mean, well, GameStop and AMC the same way. Cup, handle, ready to rip for AMC. Let's look at GME. Again. Cup, handle. Now, here's that little pullback on the handle. I expect some some at some point this is going to rip. Look, look where we're at, guys. Again, this is not a dead cat. This is just going to play out a little differently than a straight rocket ship straight up. No, our rocket has to go at an angle because you want the big boys to get in on this to push it higher, higher, and higher. They're not going to touch it if it's so volatile. This They weren't going to touch that, but this they will touch because they can repeat this gamma squeeze by you know re-leveraging their option plays each week. Okay, guys? So, sit along for the ride. Sit back. Relax. We're going to the moon. Now, Guys, if you're with me on this play, if you're excited about making as much money as you can 
on these YOLO stocks. If you're YOLO with me, please do me a favor. Hit that like and subscribe button. I'm on a mission for 1,000 subscribers. Our channel's been growing. We've been hitting it out the park, and I need you to help me bring other people to the party. With that being said, I'll be back tomorrow with another review of the stock market. Until then, enjoy your night. Peace.